Well, eight days after a gunman opened fire in an elementary school, the Uvalde Consolidated Independent School District confirms students will not return to Robb Elementary. In the meantime, the district's embattled police chief is speaking publicly for the first time. William Joy has been following the very latest in the investigation. He joins us live with what we have learned today. William? Yes, Cynthia, today the Uvalde CISD police chief pushed back against the Department of Public Safety's claim that he wasn't cooperating. Last night, DPS shared two new details about the attack that left 19 students and two teachers dead and injured 17 others. First, they revealed that the back door that the gunman used to enter the school was not propped open like they said Friday. DPS said video showed the teacher actually closed the door, but it didn't lock. They also said they reached out to Chief Pete Arredondo a few days ago for a follow-up interview, but haven't heard back. Now, just this morning, he told CNN that that wasn't true. Just so everybody knows, we've been in contact with DPS every day, just so you all know. They say, you're every not, day. They say that you're not cooperating. I've, I've been on the phone with them every day. Just they so you say all you're know. not cooperating, so just, just two just, seconds. Just, just, sure, two. Just, just so you know, we've been talking to them every day. What, what, I, is, I your, appreciate what is your reaction Y'all have a good day. And we've reached out to DPS to follow up on his statement, but so far haven't heard back. He did not explain the decision to wait inside the school instead of going after the shooter. The Department of Justice is investigating the law enforcement response to the shooting. And today we also learned, as you mentioned, that students will not be returning to Robb Elementary. They said they're heartbroken, their lives will never be the same. The district said in a statement, it's working through plans on how to serve students at other campuses. Cynthia. Our thanks to you, William Joy. Another update tonight, News 8 at 6.